Hi loves, I hope that this video finds you in a positive moment, in a love filled moment. Happy Juneteenth! Juneteenth is a very special day, especially in the black community, for remembering all of the people in Galveston, Texas, who were made known on this day in 1865 that they were free. So I celebrate all of them today. And today I heard some really powerful stories that I wanted to share with you. And they all gave me the message, you can choose your life. It's about being thankful every step of the way. Today I watched this really interesting show and because it's my birthday week, weekend now, because it's Friday, um, I don't really watch like that much TV, but I, you know, I took a little break today to celebrate and I was watching this show about um, Korean food and the woman that was interviewed told a very powerful story about her experience living in North Korea and the lack of freedom that she had there and her choice to dramatically change her life, escape that situation and get to South Korea in Seoul. And she said that in order for her to leave. She was 19 years old when she made the decision that she was going to leave North Korea. And there was a lake in North Korea that's called the Yalu River, I believe. Or the Yalu, yeah. And she said that it was frozen at the time. And she had to make a decision to run across it. And she ran across that river. And that was the beginning of her way of escaping. And then she spent two years living in China with a man that she didn't know, but she had to trust. And then it took her 3,000 miles by car, by bus, walking to get back to South Korea and into safety where she was able to get a new ID and she was able to really live her life. And now she is a... A successful caterer in South Korea and she tells people or teaches people also on the side in cooking classes of how to make North Korean food and at the end of her interview she said something really powerful she was like you can't choose your parents you can't choose which country you are born into or your living situation when you're a child but you can choose your life. You can choose your life. And I thought that that was immensely powerful because a lot of us are born into situations that are challenging in many different ways. And while we are in those situations, it may seem like there's no way to get out of it or there's no way for us to move forward. But the thing that her message reminded me of today is there's so much power in your own unique journey. There's so much to be said about your own unique story and what value that story, that experience that you go through really has in the long scheme of your life. Sometimes we say to ourselves, why am I going through this right now? Like, why is this happening to me right now? Why me? But she went through that journey, which I think took her over two years, but now she is able to 
still be in touch with her culture in North Korea and share it with others through cooking. But if she hadn't, you know, had that cultural experience growing up, maybe that wouldn't be part of her business today and what is so special to her and sharing that experience with others is what has brought her so much success in her life. So when we think about our own lives, there's pieces that we may not understand yet that contribute to the purpose that we have in life. A lot of times we're searching, right? We're like, why is this happening? I don't understand. How does this fit into the scheme of my life? And remember, it's not about always knowing the hows. It's not about always trying to figure out like why your life is the way that it is. But it is about every day understanding that you do have a purpose and that there's a reason that you're here. I'm say that again for all of you who need to hear that today. There is a reason, there is a reason, there is a reason that you, as a unique, beautiful, powerful star, are here in this world. And there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you as an individual, as a unique human being. It's about unlocking the power and the purpose within you. You know, I always say your passion is for you, your purpose is for others. Sometimes it takes experiences to break us out of our shell so that we are better in touch with our true selves. I think I may have shared this on another video, but one of my favorite books is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And in the book, he says that it is often through crisis that we are put in touch with our other selves. And that is where we find success. And I'm paraphrasing that a bit. But basically, he shares that it is often in moments of challenge and struggle where we have to overcome something that we find our strength and we find our purpose, our meaning in life, what we are meant to do. I'll give a personal example, right? So for me, there have been many times where I've tried so many different things in my life, you know? I was a teacher, I was a dog walker, I worked in a restaurant, I was a bartender. I did all of these things because I was searching and trying to find what my purpose was and what I'm supposed to be doing in life. And for a long time, I felt very lost. Like, I knew that I was supposed to do something amazing, but I didn't really know what that was. I just thought that, well, I had to find the right, you know, like school. I had to find the right uh, place of work. I had to find, you know, and these things would bring me to my success. But really what I had to do was I had to go within and I had to really assess what I wanted out of my life, how I wanted to live my life. And I had to think about and carefully choose the way that I wanted to show up in the world. And that has taken me <laughs> over 27 years. Because when your Saturn returns, right, that's a major time of transition. That's when you're 27 years old. And when I was 27 years old, I left my job as a teacher 
And if you look at my YouTube channel, you can see the speech that I share that changed my life, where I share my own start of my journey to self-love. And it started about 10 years ago. And you can think that other people can dictate your life or the current situation that you're in can dictate your life. But that's actually not the case. You are the only one who is in control of the life that you live. And every day when you wake up, you have a choice as to how you want to live your life. Every day when you wake up, you have a choice as to how you want to live your life, as to how you want to show up in the world. We all have days that are tougher than others. We all have feelings inside where we don't feel so great one day. And the other days we might feel good. But it is up to us every single day to be thankful for each step. And I was reminded of that today. I'm constantly giving messages from the universe. If you are aware and you are listening, you will always get messages from the universe. So today I was walking my dog and usually my messages they come in like threes or you know the same kind of thing will be reiterated or repeated through different people so today when i was walking my dog someone waved at me and i was like i couldn't because she had a mask on i couldn't see her face like completely but then i recognized it clicked to me like oh who it was right because i saw her eyes i remembered and I waved back and she came over to me and shared such a beautiful message. And I love receiving messages because I know that in hearing other people's stories, it's often a blessing. There's often a lesson in there for me or a blessing in there for me. So I'm always listening and appreciating people willing to share their stories with me. And she, she's just moved back to New York and she's just moved to my neighborhood. And I said, oh, well, what did you do? You know, what, what, what are you into? What is your, what is your uh, career about? And she told me that she's in the fashion industry and she used to live in Paris. And when she came to New York, where she grew up as a kid. So when she returned here, she wanted to keep doing fashion. And she had so much success in Paris. When she came to New York, it was very hard for her to start her own business here because all her connections were in Paris. And so she took all of her designs and all of the clothes that she made and she basically traveled from place to place, some mom and pop shops, you know, um, different stores all around the country showing her work. And at the time she was keeping her mom posted on her journey and her mom said something very remarkable and important and it's so simple, but it's such a good reminder. Her mom said, well, if this is what you want to do, you keep doing it and you be thankful every step of the way for everything. Be thankful for every little thing. She said, my mom told me, be thankful if you visit a shop and they let you in to meet with them. Be thankful for that. Be thankful if you visit a shop and they greet you and they say hello to you and engage with you. Be thankful if they offer you a drink, water, and invite you in. Be thankful every step of the way. And when you are thinking about life, it is so important to be thankful for everything. 
because we take a lot for granted. You know, we take a lot for granted in terms of the people that help us every day, the people that we pass by on the street every day, because you never know who can be really helpful to your life. And so as she was telling me this story, she said, you know, of all the no's I got, I kept getting discouraged. My mom said, you chose this life. You know, this is what you want to do. Keep going, keep going. Keep putting yourself out there and be thankful every step of the way. And then one day she was talking to someone and they said, you know, I know, I know someone. I know someone who has space for you to create your own showroom so you can showcase your clothes and sell your clothes. And then she was given a space in Midtown Manhattan and has been running her business out of there ever since. Now, could she have given up along the way? Yeah, because she got many rejections along the way. Could the woman who was leaving North Korea have given up along the way? Of course, because anything that you choose in life to do, whether it is to move to a new place, to change your life dramatically, to shift your perspective, to unlearn a lot of things that you have been socialized to believe about yourself, to embrace your own truths, to stand in your power, to do anything that really makes you stand alone for a while, that makes you maybe be different from the status quo or the way that the general population may operate every day, or the way things have always been done, is challenging, is discouraging sometimes because you feel like you're the only one doing it. But I want to encourage you today that you can choose your life and you can be successful in the life that you choose. And that there's so much to be thankful for along the way. And it is so important to train yourself, to train your brain, to train your awareness, to be looking for things to be thankful for and grateful for in your life. Because when you are able to walk through the world in a state of gratitude. More things come into your life and show up for you in a very beautiful way that helps support you on the journey that you have chosen for your life. To accomplish the things that you like to do accomplish in your life. Because there's always support all around us. If we are willing to be open. I have this, it's like a little um, sign that hangs on my wall and it says, there is nothing more powerful than a woman with an open heart. And I remember when I, I was like at some art sale or vintage um, market or something like that and I came across it and it spoke to me, and I think at the time I was like 27 or 28 years old, when I was just starting to awaken to my self-love journey, when I was just starting to really commit to journal writing every day. And for some reason it spoke to me because I've shared with you all that in my 20s I was very scared about everything. You know, I was very judgmental and critical of other people, but that was really because I was judgmental and critical about myself. You know, often what we reflect to others is how we feel inside. And I had never really done the work to tap into my power and ask myself what I really wanted. I didn't even feel that I was in control of my own life. And while I do believe that there are so many powerful forces that 
help us get through life every single day and that are guiding us. We have to be active in our lives, in what we choose to do. It is important to write down your ideas. It is important to write down your plan. It is important to ask for guidance as to what it is that your purpose is. Because as human beings, we want to feel that we have a purpose on this earth. And we all do. Your purpose is your gift. Okay? I talk about that all the time, but it's so true. Each of us have been uniquely designed to shine in our own unique way. And for some of us, it takes years to realize that or to get there or to feel that power of that light, that unique light that radiates inside of you. But I encourage you to tap into that today to make sure that you are writing down your ideas. When you get those hunches, you know, when you're brushing your teeth or you're walking outside or you're sitting in silence or you're watching something and an idea sparks to you, you know, and it comes out of nowhere and you're like, oh, where did that come from? It is so important to write that idea down. And really, we're given so many ideas every single day. We're flooded with so many thoughts every single day, but rarely do we act on those things. And I believe what separates us from being super successful and really achieving all the wonderful things that we are gifted to achieve and kind of living a life where you're like, oh, you know, it's all right, you know, I feel okay about everything. And where you feel kind of like mediocre all the time is action. Taking action. This is my third, I think, attempt to create a YouTube channel. And I've done it other times and it's been like I've created a few videos and then I stop. I have created podcasts and I still have episodes that I haven't uploaded. And it really is about choosing your path, choosing your life, and then making a commitment every day to taking action towards it. And I had to be really real with myself and I had to think, okay, Julia, like, what is it that you want to do in your life? What is it that you want to do until you pass away? What brings you joy every day? And I had to think about that for a long time because <laughs> my brain inside is like one hamster is uh, in the circus. One hamster is like riding a bike. Another hamster is going fishing. It's like all these different things in my brain. And for a long time, I was very indecisive because I was like, well, I could do this and I could do that and I could do this and I could go here and I could do this and I could do And that's hard. And I kept thinking like, well, nothing's going right. And I went back to gratitude and thanking my, my life for everything that was showing up for me being grateful for all the things that I already had and really looking at those things that I had and saying, what's already here? What am I already doing? Instead of searching and searching and searching, what am I already doing? There's this wonderful, wonderful, woman on Instagram named Hassani. And she is in the wellness industry and she was asking me questions recently about where I wanna go and what I wanna do. And she said something very powerful. She was like, what are you already doing? 
And it reminded me of the fact that every day we are choosing the life that we are living. And we have to be aware and pay attention to what's already in front of us and what we are already doing. And think about, do we want to do more of that? Is that what lights us up inside? Is that what we can spend hours on, days on, years on? Because if it is, take action on that thing every single day. And if it's not, today is the day to figure out for yourself, well, what do you want to do more of? What is inspiring to you? What are you grateful for every time you come in contact with it? You can choose your life. I choose to do these videos with you. Because it's healing for me. And in being healing for me, it is my passion, my belief, my desire to share that healing love energy with you all. It is my wish and my belief that when I speak to you all, I am sharing my love with you. That is my intention. So think about in your life, what is it that you want to share your love with people doing? I talk about journal writing because it has been something that has totally transformed my life in a beautiful way. What has transformed your life in a beautiful way? How can you teach other people how to do that thing? What makes you happy every single day? How can you do more of that? And remember, it's not always about you figuring out when it's going to happen, why it's going to happen, this and that and that. But it is about you taking action, right? If it's meeting with someone, set up a meeting. If it's making a phone call, follow through and make, up that, make that phone call. If it's writing down your ideas and making a plan for what you're going to do every day, write down those ideas and make a plan. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is get started, honey. Right? A body in motion stays in motion. A body in rest stays at, at rest. But once you start, once you get that momentum going, I truly believe the universe meets you at your point of action and helps you get to where you want to go. I promise you. I send you so much love and positive energy and good vibrations. You know, I'm doing these talks as many as I can until Sunday, which is my 35th birthday. I am so happy that you're joining me for this video. I'd love to hear how these videos resonate with you, what you get out of them. Let me know in the comments. I send you so, 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 so much love. Thank you so much for watching. And remember that you are a unique star and the world needs your beautiful and powerful light. I send you so much love and I will see you in the next video. I love to have a beautiful, beautiful day and happy Juneteenth. Read up on it if you don't know what it's about. Check it out. Okay. Bye. Lots of love to you.